what were some of the um, parameters or guidelines how to use the furniture to the best ability? Mrs Sims and I, we went straight into it and we said we're going to do this. We actually started with the doors originally open and we were going to do it fully open classroom. However, we decided that probably would be a little bit difficult to have full open classroom, so we actually modified it. We originally had some of the furniture on one side and some of the furniture I chose from last year, but we decided to spread it across. So this was our original setup. However, there's been things that have come along that haven't worked for our students and, and they've given us the feedback. So we are actually going to modify what we've had. Probably the biggest thing is we've got 32 in each side. So it's incredibly noisy at times. So our first point of call was to make sure that we set up our guidelines. And we did that completely collaboratively. So we all sat down and we all agreed on what we wanted and what we wanted to see. We also set up little zones and we took photos of what each desk should look like and we call it our picture perfect cleanup. So that way every desk goes back to looking perfect every single day. We also open up the doors and we do what's called STEM, some of them mentioned it. We're at 64 students where we get to do massive challenges and there's mess everywhere and we can click our fingers and it will go back to picture perfect. So those are kind of the things that we have to really focus on and so our rules have been our biggest thing to make sure we stick to them because it's very easy to uh, get distracted, especially with the freedom of seating see anywhere. I noticed on your tables you've got um, how to use these, this version. On this side it just shows the picture and then on this side it says like, all the rules. So like I can stand responsibly at, and sit at the desks responsibly. So how did you come up with those um, guidelines? We sat down in like exactly how we are now and we, Mrs. Sims and I had a few ideas. We had the general, and then we went through each desk and how we would use it. So they're all the students' ideas. Most of them, we, we added a few extras in. However, they were all based on the students. So it's, it's complete ownership of the students. We also design how they should look. So each desk has um, a pot of uh, equipment and it stays on that desk. So we share everything. So we made sure we took the photo and that's how it looks every time. So I think that's very good for the teachers to understand you've got to set up the guidelines and review them with the children because they're the ones using it. And have you got to work with different people in the classroom? Yes. yes. No. Collaborative learning, collective efficacy. I think the only problem is this is Walker. I don't think I'll be able to go back to the classroom after this. <laughs> I've, I've got used to it as well, just as much as you have.